there's a mechanism within there so that rather than with the ev Evolution 2 where it was either up or down, we had to have an arrangement where you could lower it down to within a millimeter of the top of the surface and it would stay there. The operation of the handle was really important because some of the larger cutter bars weigh up to 20 kilos. Um, so we had to build a brake system in there so that when you operate the handle, it moves and stops exactly where you want it to stop. By building a brake in there, um, it's adjusted so that it just holds up our 20 kilos or whatever the uh, bar weighs um, and it's finger, just a finger touch will bring it down to the height that you want it to. But the problem was of course that with the brake engaging and the weight of the cutter bar to lift it up we will be effectively lifting up 40 kilos. Um, so we had to design a mechanism within there so that the brake only prevented the cutter bar from falling and disengaged when you tried to lift it. So that means that we are now got finger, finger adjustment to lower and finger lower adjustment to raise because we're only raising our 20 kilos. The previous machine, the Evolution 2, it used to raise and lower by hinging on the hinge arms here. And that meant that it, it didn't lower perpendicular to the face of the board. So we had to design in with this a separate mechanism that raises and lowers perpendicular here, but we retain our rotary motion for folding it down to the side of the bench.